Keith Peterson ready to referee the action in this co-main event. Jan Shaunan and Carla Esparza go to work. Tonight's fight clock is brought to you by Modelo. Look at that straight away. That. Big mistake by Jan there. Got too aggressive, went forward. That is not what you want to do in the opening seconds against a heavy wrestler that wants to take you down, that has made no secret about taking you down. Jan said this week, every single opponent I fight, they all want to take me down. So she's just going to fight the way she did against Claudia Gedalia, which was a masterclass. She pivoted off the fence. She used her jab to keep her away. This time, you know what I mean, Paul? Yeah, you can't just Walked rush in like that. Down. No. You're playing right into the world. And Carla's a different level. A lot, a lot of these women that she's faced can grapple, but Car she is a wrestler, yes, a yes. wrestler, wrestler. She Wrestled will, in high school. She said even when we interviewed her, maybe I don't get the first one. Well, she did, but she was planning on having to shoot, reshoot, and have to work for this. So to get it just thrown into her lap like that, perfect. It falls right into her game plan. Carla Esparza entered this fight already, the all-time leader in strawweight takedowns in the UFC with 39. She's already got two. Plenty of ground control time to go along with it here. Close to a coin flip fight. We'll call it minus 105 for Esparza. She's cast four of her last six wins as an underdog. No stranger to that role. She says less pressure, more motivation. And she's got all of it tonight in a top five matchup. Right now we're seeing both ladies not doing anything. Carla is... You know, she's got a good position. She's firmly got the takedown. She's in a solid side control. Ooh. Ooh. That, was, that was nice. That was nice again. That forced Carla to make some moves because they yeah. were nice elbows. <laughs> oh, Shaunan swings the legs up. She almost arm barred herself there for a second. Did you see that? <laughs> she she grabs like, up legs. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> That's my own arm. That's me. That's me. Yeah, I'm looking for his uh, Kimura there from half guard. Oh, postures up, fires a big right. Back into side control for Esparza. It's an interesting defense here. You see Jan's got hold of her own instep, trying to prevent Carla from taking the mount position, I think. But it's not doing anything. That's just a waste of energy. Yeah, no. I, you need to be making space, not kind of pulling her in yeah. on top of you. It's like when people close the, the body triangle from their back and guard. I'm like, you're just holding them on top of you to punch you in the face. Right. Pointless. It's pointless. Yeah, I'm not a fan. This is a good position, though. Carla's slowly working her way around to north-south position. From there, it's going to open up some submissions, take a Kimura, there's some chokes there as well. And she's just solidifying, you know, this round. Obviously, she's heavily in control. But she's just taking over mentally, physically. But she wants to make it work for her because, you know, in the second round, you never know. Jan is probably going to be a little more, a little careful on the feet in terms of maintaining the distance, yeah, keep you know? that distance. See the ground control time for Esparza already more than three minutes. She also entered with that record in strawweight history, most ground control time. So on brand for the former strawweight UFC champion, Carla Esparza through four minutes. Yeah, you see Keith Peterson, he's taking a close look, he's watching, you know, because essentially, you know, they've been here for a while, there was a little north-south oh, nice elbows. But Carla's doing enough, you know, she's chipping away, she is landing some shots, and she's got a very dominant position. And just nothing in terms of an answer for Jan Shaunan on the bottom here. Yeah, Jan some needs elbows to here, turn but. into her. She needs to pivot, turn on her side and shrimp, yeah. and try and get guard. We haven't Brain, seen anything. Yeah, we haven't nothing. seen that at all. She's just been content oh. to lie there. Oh, boy. But this Kimura. Short time here under 30 seconds, but uh, she doesn't quite have it yet. They're calling for an arm bar. Now trying to pin the left arm down. Just fire to the body here. <laughs> 
Oh, short elbows as she's nice elbows. Hitting Chownan down and swinging to the horn. Oh, there's blood. Oh. Hey, great job. Take a deep breath. Water? I'm gonna let you give it to yourself. But I can tell you, it's gonna be a problem because yeah, it's right on the forehead. Yep. It's gonna right be a problem. And so are the scorecards. That was a clear 10-8 for Carla. In yeah. a three-round fight, that's a problem. And it looks right like now, there's some damage on the left side of the head of Xiaonan as well. Yan needs to make sure she sticks to the game plan, though. She can't let that first round force her to make bad decisions. But look at that, an easy single leg takedown. I mean, the wrestling of Carla tonight looks fantastic because we know Yan Xiaonan is hard to take down. She's passed that test many times. And so far, Carl has just, it's been, there's been no resistance. And how about this? Carla Sparza landed 101 Ooh. total strikes in the first round. That's the third most ever landed in a single strawweight round. That'll get you a 10-8 more often than not. And right back in her office here in round number two. Masterful corner work from Colin Oyama. Yes, I agree. He said all the right things and broke it down to exactly what she can expect when they come out for the second round. She's either going to try to blow you up, come out, crush you. She's going to open up the takedown. She's calm down. You dominate that first round. Take a breath, relax, and keep doing what you're doing. And what was a coin flip to start. There's no longer minus a thousand now for as far as the live odds. Wow. Yeah, and I gotta say, you know, Jan, assuming that she goes on to lose this fight or whatever, regardless whether she wins or loses, she needs to work on her ground game, and, um, specifically her get ups. You know, because right now, certainly in the first round, she was content to lie on her back the whole time. And we're kind of seeing the same thing here. Yeah. You know, she. There's ways to get back to your feet. It's not easy, but there's set ways to do it. And we're not even seeing her attempt any of it. And here's what's interesting, Mike, too. She's crossing her legs. Now, obviously, that's a defense for anybody that doesn't know to stop somebody from mounting you easily. But that doesn't mean anything when the fighter is not trying yeah, not to mount about that. you. You've got to try to posture oh. up and separate. This could, be, this could be close to being stopped the way she's mauling her yeah. position. And, you know, Carla talked about this. She talked about getting the crucifix. She's, she, yeah, she just needs to tuck that arm. But even right now, there's still no defense I with that one on. She said, I'm looking for a crucifix or a submission. And I'll tell you what, she's got the crucifix right now. As you said, needs to get the head in front of that arm. Once she does that, she's a sitting There girl. it is. Almost, not quite. Jan knows. Man, we've seen Valentina Shevchenko make a lot in this position. Keith Peterson is standing right high. They're not hard Sparza's shots. just got to keep going with that right wow. now. Got to do it. Carla Sparza, five straight wins and a pretty good argument to be next in line. I think so. I think so. Listen, we were talking a lot about Yan Xiaonan and how good she is and how strong 